Neumann & Esser Group has developed a sizing tool for hydrogen refueling stations. Currently, three basic models can be simulated. The first model is the constantly supplied hydrogen refueling station receiving its hydrogen from either an electrolyzer or a pipeline. The second model is the trailer supplied hydrogen refueling station where the hydrogen comes from a trailer filling station which can also be simulated as the third model. In this case, we will simulate a train hydrogen refueling station for 170 kg of hydrogen per train with two dispensers and a reference tank pressure of 350 bar at 15 degrees Celsius. At the dispenser, different end users can be defined. Cars at 700 bar, trucks, buses, trains at 350 bar tank pressure and at 700 bar tank pressure as well. For the dispenser, we can select the pressure ramp, which determines the filling time, the pre-cooling temperature and the coefficient of power of the pre-cooling unit to calculate the cooling energy consumption. Furthermore, we can define a daily pattern of usage. In this case, between midnight and 4 o'clock in the morning, two trains are refueled per hour per dispenser. And from 10 o'clock in the evening till midnight, the same pattern is resumed. This simulates a railroad depot, which refuels passenger trains in the off-duty hours. The tank architecture can be adapted to the de facto tank geometry inside the train. Thus, the heat up and cool down during and after refueling can also be simulated more accurately. As the simulated station is supplied with gaseous compressed hydrogen from trailers, the trailer nominal load and nominal pressure and also the initial load can be modified. Furthermore, two parallel or partly parallel trailers can be simulated also with call off times and change over times adaptable to the de facto situation. As a next step, the storage tank cascade is simulated. In this case, it consists of a lower pressure, 200 bar, and a medium pressure buffer at 550 bar, for which the nominal H2 mass and also the initial mass for starting the simulation can be defined. Finally, the compressor system is selected. In this case, two single-stage diaphragm compressors running at 380 rpm. With the ambient temperature set to 20 degrees Celsius, the thermal interaction of the systems with the environment is simulated as well. Before starting the simulation, we set the simulated time frame to a full day and the resolution interval to 60 seconds. Now the calculation starts and it takes about one minute to finish. Then the file is saved and the results can be shown for analysis. Important output data are the number of refueled vehicles and tank systems, the refueled mass per dispenser, the state of charge after refueling, showing the maximum, average and the minimum, and also the refueling time. This also reflects in the tank pressure after refuel. Here we see a slight variation in the state of charge and refueling time, and the detailed view shows us when the system is losing its 100% state of chargeability. When clicking on Operation, we see the trailer filling and changeover and also the energy consumption and the general pathway the H2 takes from the system into the tank. Finally, we can see the running pattern of the compressors, which is not yet optimized as control only runs via start-stop and not via, for example, speed control, and the buffer vessel pressures over time. A complete overview of the parameters is also given. Furthermore, it is possible to compare simulations with each other to select the best configuration for the individual use case and an Excel summary can also be downloaded. All in all, a very helpful tool to size a hydrogen refueling station or also to do the other way around and get the maximum bang out of the buck for a given budget or a given plot area. Feel free to contact us and thanks to the TLK team for the great support.